they come into the club at a difficult situation, do you know what I mean? Like, I remember at the time, obviously, you had Berry and Bolton in a similar situation, and and Bolton fans were just like, I don't care, you know, like, I just want my team, etc. So, I'm sure they would have taken this, you know, a year ago or however long ago it was. So, me knowing them personally and knowing them, I think that they're the right people for the job. And I think that starting on level points with a team of their own, I think that they'll they'll bring success to that place. And that's because I just know how they are. And I know how they both are. And I think that they could do well. Do you know what I mean? And they've done it at, you know, I know, I don't know how many years ago it was now when, they, you know, they got promoted at Rochdale. Mansfield, we should have got promoted last year under Dave. Um, and they, and to be fair to Keith, Keith done a, a consistently good job at um, and Rochdale, do you know what I mean? Before before he left and that, with, you know, with the budget they had. And even at Barnsley, like, I remember, like, that our budget was nowhere near, nowhere near some of the clubs in that league. And I remember, like, before we got injuries and players had to go back on, you know, go back to their loan, you know, they come on loan, etc. Like, how well they'd actually done. And we was about ninth in the table at one point, midway through the season. And I think that, they, you know, they, they are good. Obviously, I've not worked with them both together for quite a long time, for maybe eight years. But they, I think they, you know, they could definitely move the club forward. And, and, and the funny thing is, like, when I first joined Barnsley, I wasn't a fan of either of theirs. I wasn't really, I didn't really understand them. I felt like they used to question me, like, a little bit in a rude way to, to a degree. I felt like Keith was, I don't know, maybe come across as a certain way. But when I actually got to know them, like, I would have, you know, I would have done anything, you know, for them. I remember in the, in the, in the second season, Keith pulling me and he just like, you've, you've, you've turned into a better team player. Do you know what I mean? You're getting hold of the ball, you're doing... And I, I, just, I just felt like they helped me massively. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like they've done it for a lot of players. They've done it for Ricardo Bazte. When I was there, they done it for Danny Drinkwater. They done it for Jacob Butterfield, and they brought out you know the best in some, the best in players. And and I think you know, like I said, given a clean slate, I think you know it's funny because I, it was hard to picture them apart. So I never had Keith without Dave, but I had obviously Dave without Keith, and Dave was really good. And and all the players, oh, you you're probably never gonna have. 25 happy players you know what I mean like you're never going to have that because obviously not everybody's playing but that last year the boys like liked Dave a lot and I think that this year they realised how much they missed him do you know what I mean when sometimes you don't realise what you've got until it's gone type thing and I think that when I seen that he went back with Keith I was I thought to myself you know what they'll do well together because they're just honestly like they just bounce off each other. They're so good together. They, I think they'll do well. Do you know what I mean? Given that, given that, given a proper chance, because I think you could have had anybody in there this season. I think they would have found it difficult, regardless. You could have had Pep. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Could have had Pep in them, and he would have found it tough. So, I hope that you know they do stick with them both, and I hope that they. I really, really, really hope that they they both do well there. And I mean that.